Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a brand new series that I'm kicking off called Monday Morning Watercolor Tips. I'm gonna be coming at you every Monday morning with a new watercolor tip to hopefully set you off on the right foot for the week and hopefully inspire you to get painting. I'm also gonna be using these videos to answer questions maybe you've been dying to know the answer to, but all the videos are gonna be short and sweet, something simple that you guys can watch while you're getting dressed for work in the morning or having your morning tea, basically just to get you inspired for the week. So let's start off with our first tip and our first video. Okay, so for our first video, I'm gonna talk about how to flatten your watercolor paintings, how to frame them or preserve them or what to even do with them when you are finished. So let me first address how do we flatten our watercolor paintings? So usually when we paint with watercolor, we're using a lot of water and that causes the paper to warp. So your finished painting might look like this or even a bit more warped, um, especially if you're doing a landscape. You can tape down your paintings to help keep them as flat as possible during the painting process, but as they dry, they tend to get warped anyway. So if you've ever tried to frame one of these warped paintings, let me just show you quickly. So you'll know if you've tried to frame a warped painting, you might get these kind of ripples in the painting and it just doesn't sit flat. Or sometimes if it's even more warped, it just looks super bumpy in the frame and it's just hard to make it look nice. So I'm gonna show you first how to flatten these before you frame them. Okay, so there are different methods to flatten your paintings or your paper even beforehand, but I'm gonna show you the way I do it. What you're gonna need is a little water spray bottle. I just got like a pack of two of these from the dollar store, filled them with water, and this is what I use. Some people I know use sponges with water. This is just how I do it. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn your painting over and you're gonna open up your spray bottle and you are just going to evenly spray the back of your painting. So it's all nice and not soaking, dripping wet, but evenly wet. Then you are going to place it in, what I do is I have this huge piece of Canson watercolor paper and I've folded it in half. I put it in between so it's not facing any kind of paper or book that has ink in it that could um, transfer some ink onto the wet paper. I have learned that the hard way. Make sure you put it between some clean paper, preferably thick paper like watercolor. Press it down and all you're gonna do is lay this under heavy books for the night. That is it. I'm gonna stack all of my sketchbooks that I have on top and I'm gonna leave it for the night and show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so it is the next day. I have taken my paintings out and voila, they are flat. See that? That's just from leaving them overnight, wetting the back evenly, and then placing them under some heavy books. Make sure when you do place them under some heavy books that it um, will cover the whole painting. You don't want it to you know, shift and cover just half of it because then this part right might remain um, a little bit more wavy. Make sure it covers the whole painting, um, at least the book that's right on top. And then after that, you can just stack whatever on top for weight. Um, but yeah, it's as easy as that. And now it is perfect for framing, super easy. Okay, and so the other thing I wanted to address was a question that people asked often, do they need to seal their watercolor paintings? I have personally never sealed my watercolor painting. If you are framing it behind glass, you do not need to seal it at all, okay? Um, it is protected behind glass. Again, you don't wanna place it in direct sunlight on your wall um, for long periods of time if you don't have um, light fast paints, it might fade over time, but it is perfectly protected behind glass in a frame. If you are say mounting this on, you know, like a, a wooden board or something like that, where this part is gonna be exposed and you think there might be a risk of it getting wet or whatever, you might wanna seal it. Um, I've never done that. I think there's a specific wax you can get, um, but I've never had to do that. Also, maybe watercolor cards, if it's something you want someone to keep for a really, really long time, if you want to seal it. Again, I've made plenty of watercolor cards that I've given out over the years, never sealed them. I don't really think it's a big issue. I mean, if someone decides to spill their coffee on it or a big bottle of water, I think it's just going to be ruined anyway, whether there's seal on it or not. Um, but yeah, you do not need to seal your paintings, especially if they're going to be framed behind glass. And lastly, what do I do with all of my paintings, especially from my tutorials? 
I get asked this all the time. How do you store them? Like, oh, honestly, I do not have a good method for this. <laughs> These are my tutorials from over the years. These are mostly old ones because in more recent years when I started getting the Etcher Lab sketchbooks, I did all, all of my tutorials in the sketchbooks. So all of my paintings are in there instead of trying to figure out where to put them in my office. This is where they sit. And what am I gonna do with them? I have no idea. I was thinking of selling some. Um, I have sold some in the past. Um, but yeah, most of these are just tutorials from years and years ago. And I don't really know what to do with that. So I don't really have a great answer for that question. I get asked that a lot. And I'm here to tell you, I just don't have a great answer for that. Store them however you'd like. I feel like people expect that I store them in beautiful like portfolios or something, but I don't. <laughs> it's just a bin in my office. So that's that. Oh, quickly, I did also want to add, I, I don't know if anyone had this question of how I frame my paintings. Um, basically, I always paint with them cut to size. So this is just um, a eight by 10 and I'll just secure it to the mat with some painter's tape just so it doesn't slide around when I'm trying to close the painting. And I always use painter's tape just because it doesn't do damage to it. You can always peel it off nice. And you don't even have to tape down the whole thing just to secure it. I don't even know which way is the front and which way is the back. It's fine. Um, <laughs> just to secure it down. But I'll just show you that flattening before framing really helps. See, there's not that gap or that bumpiness now that we flattened it and it is perfectly framed. There we go. So that is the video, quick tips on how to flatten your watercolor paintings, how to have them flat for framing and if you need to seal them and how to store them. I hope that was helpful and informative. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content, more quick tips, more tutorials, all that great stuff. And also follow me on Instagram and Facebook for even more. Have a great day guys. Bye.